We're doing gymnastic skills again today, so we're going to review some of the ones we did last time, and I'll show you some new ones as well. First gymnastic skill we're going to practice is tumbling or rolling. So um, I'm going to give you some different choices. You choose the one you want to do. First one is a side roll. Elizabeth, would you like to show us the side roll? She's going to get on her hands and knees and roll on her side, back, and back to her hands and knees. Perfect. Give her a hand. Number two, forward roll. Amari is going to show us the forward roll. She's going to get nice and low. She's going to take the weight to her hands and onto her back. With a stand up. Give her a hand. That was good. All right, number three. If you want a little bit more of a challenge, you can try the backwards roll. When you're doing the backwards roll, try to roll over your shoulder so you don't hurt your neck. Watch me, I'm gonna get down nice and low, rolling over this shoulder, just like that. How many people can be on the mat at a time? One. Go, you try. You can do the side roll, side, forwards, or back. Yep, right back to the hands and knees. Start on your knees, start on your knees. There we go, right back to your hands and knees. That way, Cody, way to turn your head to the side. Nice, you make that look easy, Mickey. All right, be careful with that one. Make sure you tuck your chin. That, that's good. We'll go a couple more times. Hustle back, take a seat. Very good. Thank you for sitting quietly. I like how quickly you all got back. All right, we're gonna do a couple different balances. First one is called a V-sit, and this is good for your abdominal muscles. I'm gonna sit down on the mat, I'm gonna lift my legs up and my arms, see how long you can hold it for. This is one that you guys can do together because we have the space for it. Number two, belly balance. Okay, so you're gonna feel your muscles in your back working for this one. Laying down, yep, Superman. Arms up, legs up, and hold it. Number three, Knee balance. You can do double knee balance, or you can do a single knee balance. You can even have a competition, see who can hold it for the longest in your group. Go ahead, you guys try. Find your space on the mat. You guys can, you can do any one you want. no balance whatsoever. Just try your best. We have the knee balance over here. Try to keep your feet off the ground. Ooh, the single knee, that way, Sam. There we go. Hold down, hold down, hold down. See who can hold it for the longest. I'm seeing lots of knee balances. You try to keep your legs a little bit more straight, Mickey. Yeah, there you go. Now you got it. Can you feel that in your back? Juan, keep those legs straight. Yep, that's it, Angel. You got it, Cody. Nice seat balance. All right, hold it for a couple more seconds. Hustle back, hustle back. Excellent. Fantastic. Fifth grade, I love how fast you guys are hustling back every time I blow the whistle. All right, next one, we're gonna try some stunts. You're gonna feel it in your arms and shoulders. First one's called a flip-flop. You guys don't have to be on the mat for this one if you don't want. If you wanna be just off the mat, that's okay as well. So watch me. Hands and front, feet in the back in a push-up position, and I'm gonna flip. Flop, only your feet can touch the ground. Maybe see how long you can go. Number two, this one's a little more difficult. It's called the bouncer. You get in a push-up position and you push yourself off the ground. All right, go ahead, you try. <laughs> That's it, good, try to keep your back straight. There you guys go, why don't you guys give each other a little bit more space on the mat. Keep your back nice and straight. Which one are you guys trying, the bouncer? <laughs> Keep that balance on your hands and feet. Elizabeth, nice job on the flip-flop. Oh, you're doing both of them, there you go. 